All right, this is Mike McDonald by Pro News, and we are in Las Vegas for PubCon, and I'm with Matt Guts. Hello hey. there, Matt Guts. How's it going? Uh, now, we talked a few months ago, and we need to go ahead and get this out of the way first yeah. with the caffeine thing, because earlier in the week, yeah, it was all over that uh, actually live on a data center, but not not really. Yeah, yeah. so uh, there was basically a sandbox developer preview where people could go and they could run their queries on caffeine and test it out and, and see how the results looked. So what's different is we had to give those machines back, so we had to take that sandbox down. So we put a message out that said, thanks for the feedback, we greatly appreciate it. The next stage in the rollout will probably be uh, that we go live with one data center. And it's not live yet, but it probably will be live, you know, relatively soon before the holidays, but only one data center. It'll be in the normal rotation, which means if you do a query, some small percentage of user queries will go to that particular data question, center. Yeah. But users don't, they usually can't really tell the difference right. between normal and caffeine. Um, we might provide an address where someone can go to that URL and be able to search, maybe not exclusively caffeine 100% of the time, but it's a little more likely to hit the data center that's hosting caffeine. But the main thing that people should know is sort of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't panic, right? right. Because we're not going to roll out caffeine to all the data centers until after the holidays. So sometime in January, then we'll start to think about pushing it out to multiple data centers, but not until after the holidays. Well, that, that plays into the whole Florida paranoia thing yeah. from several years ago. And it was a part of the consideration. We could have rolled out faster, but we were like, you know what? Everybody's already locked in on what they're trying to do for the holidays. We don't want to upset anybody. We don't want webmasters to be stressed. Mm -hmm. So let's just take it easy. We'll get a lot of good feedback, and then we can go a little bit faster after the there, holidays. There are a few things worse than a stressed webmaster. <laughs> that's, that's just a fact. It's they, an ugly thing. They can get a little, they can, uh, they can get a little harsh sometimes. But, you know, yeah. it, also, caffeine doesn't seem to be, you know, for, I have not you know, researched it extensively, but I have looked at the uh, the sandbox and and, and and done some comparisons, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of variation, really. Right. Which is the beauty. That's what we were trying to do. We were trying to architect it so that even though there's a ton of stuff, really a re-architecting of the entire indexing system under the hood that's changed, the, the results themselves don't look that different. No. Uh, it gives us a lot more flexibility. We can index things faster, but your average user won't really notice a difference. And that's what you that's right. how you want it to work. It's like a good haircut. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and let's talk about site speed then. Mm -hmm. You guys have done some things, changing things, yeah, have new capabilities. What, a little bit, going? yeah. So we're going to, uh, later today I'll be talking about site speed. So there's this great resource at code.google.com slash speed. And we provide a ton of different tools where you can, uh, you know, assess how fast your site is. So there's a Firefox extension called uh, Page Speed, mm -hmm. And it will show you things like here's how you can minify your JavaScript. And here's a waterfall of your page actually loading. So there's all kinds of really good resources there and we're starting to think more and more about you know should speed be a, a factor in Google's rankings you know because even in AdWords if your site is slow that can be a factor in how much you might have to pay in AdWords historically we haven't used it in our search rankings but a lot of people within Google think that the web should be fast mm -hmm. it should be a good experience and so it's sort of fair to say if you're a fast site maybe you should get a little bit of a bonus or if you have a really awfully slow site then maybe you know users don't want that as much well and 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 some of the stuff people may not actually realize you know the the order of of things on on your page mm -hmm. can can affect your load time some things load in series some oh, load yeah. in parallel so and there are fantastic tools there. Uh, so PageSpeed is one Firefox extension. There's something called webpagetest.org. A lot of fantastic tools. Um, and Google just released something called Clojure, which takes your JavaScript and squunches it down a ton, makes it a lot faster, and some JavaScript libraries. So you don't have to custom code all of your stuff anymore. You can get a date picker or whatever, reuse a lot of code bring up your site faster and have this, the code be cleaner. So I think a lot of people in 2010 are going to be thinking more about how do I have my site be fast, how do I have it be rich without writing a bunch of custom JavaScript. All right, Matt. Well, thanks very much yeah. for taking time and appreciate it as always. This is Mike McDonald with Pro News, and we are in Las Vegas for PubCon.